This is gonna be a warrior series. In this series, you're gonna work your quads and your glutes, uh, but you're also gonna do a lot of stretching through your hamstrings, your calves, uh, and your hip flexor muscles. And then you're also gonna be stretching through a lot of your upper body. Uh, you're going to feel some good stretching in your upper back, your lower back, through your shoulders, your obliques, and your abdominals. So this is really a full body uh, series or vinyasa. And at the end, I'm also going to add on a challenge pose, which is going to be a warrior three. So if you're new to this, uh, these kind of poses, you might want to try the series um, in full three to five times before you go ahead and add on the warrior three. In the meantime, here, come on with me. I'm going to start in a warrior two pose and I'm going to start with my left foot so you can start with your right, you can mirror image. My front toes are pointed toward the top of my mat and my back foot is in line with the front foot but its um, toes are perpendicular to it. I'm just going to bend through the front leg. Um, make sure that your knee when you bend it is directly over your ankle and it doesn't come out over your toes. Uh, if you need to get down a little lower, just move your back leg out a little bit more. Pull in the lower abdominals, float the arms out, one over each leg, and then gaze out over the front fingertips. This is warrior two. Rotate the palms up towards the ceiling. Gently cartwheel them back to peaceful warrior. Arms come up, rotate towards the front leg, sink down through the hips as you lift the fingertips towards the sky, warrior one. Open up, warrior two. Make sure that your fingers are stretching together in the opposite directions away from the center line of your body, creating dramatic tension in your arms. Rotate the palms up, and then cartwheel it over to reverse your warrior, peaceful warrior. Arms come up. Square your chest up toward that front leg, and then lower down through the hips, warrior one. One last time this side, push the air out, warrior two. Palms rotate up. Peaceful warrior. Lift it up, square up over the front leg, and bend the knee as you stretch your fingers towards the sky. Warrior one. From here, Draw your arms down by your sides and toward the back as your chest folds over the front thigh. Interlace your fingers behind you, lift them up toward the ceiling, and bow your head down. Humble warrior. Gently release your hands. I'm going to scooch my back foot in a little bit. Bend that front knee, try and get a little momentum going because I'm going to shift all of my weight onto the front foot and balance. When you get here, raise the arms up and then hinge forward at the hips, lowering your torso and lifting your legs until both are pretty much parallel to the floor. Warrior three. Same thing on the other 
other side. Big step out with your left foot, toes pointed toward the front of the mat. I need to get just a little bit wider here. Bend the front knee, make sure that it's not coming out over the toes. Pull the lower abdominals in, float the arms up. Gaze out over those front fingertips towards the horizon. Warrior two. Palms rotate toward the ceiling. Gently cartwheel them up to peaceful warrior. Raise your arms so that you can get that torso aligned to your front leg. Reach through the fingertips. Sink down through the hips. Warrior one. Push the air out and sink back down into it. Warrior two. Palms rotate up. Peaceful warrior. Notice that in all these poses, my feet stay where they are. Arms come up. Square your chest up. Bend front knee. Warrior one. Last time through, push the air out. Gaze out over the front fingertips, warrior two. Palms rotate up. Peaceful warrior. One more time, rotate the torso towards the front leg. Sink down through the hips. Warrior one. Release the hands. Arms come down by the side and behind you. As you lower your chest, laying it on that front side, interlace your fingers behind you. Lift them up toward the ceiling as you lower your head. Humble warrior. that. Bring your back foot in a little bit. Bend the front knee a couple times so that you can shift your weight onto the front foot and balance. Spread those toes out. The weight should be in your heel and along with the outside of your foot. Raise the arms up and use arms and legs to counterbalance each other. Warrior three. I hope you enjoy that. See you back here.